today we're talking about the Diatone RC Tabletop Karting Car. This is a tabletop eraser and it has an FPV video system on board. Now, how many of people that fly FPV drones have thought we want to get our friends and family to try it? Maybe you're even comfortable enough to hand them over your six to seven hundred dollar goggle setup to put it on and try to do some FPV of their own. The difficult part of that, guys, is flying an FPV drone has an extremely steep learning curve. Nobody can just pick it up and fly within a few hours, much less a few minutes. But you know what almost anybody can do is drive a tiny little RC car like this, and it comes with an RC transmitter like this. Now, I've DIY'd a little RC car with an FPV system very much like this, but it wasn't this small, and this comes pre-built all the way for you fully integrated in there and it has a 60 minute runtime that's right you can drive forever never getting bored those of us that do fly the drones know that the batteries on those really only last what uh three to five minutes if we're lucky so you can keep having a tremendous amount of fun uh, with this comes with a very simple little radio let's go take a closer look <music> Diatone Karting FPV Car 176 scale for tabletop FPV racing. And as we talked about, you can see in detail this tiny little FPV camera system that is mounted directly on top of the camera. And yes, this thing is a fully functional RC car. It has a fairly basic little uh, remote right here. And it just has your basic uh, forward, reverse up here, and then your steering right here. Um, you don't expect a ton of range out of this thing. You don't see any type of external antenna, but for driving around your house, which is what this thing excels at, you're gonna be totally fine. Uh, it comes with a little charging cable in the box that plugs directly into it. You USB also comes with some instructions, a little RC car keychain, which is pretty cool, and a spare of these little canopies. This is actually really cool because you could convert this to be able to go without the FPV system, or you could use this to customize your own setup and uh, kind of paint this or do whatever you want with it. So I really like that you get a spare one of these to be able to decorate however you would like. On the bottom here, you can see that you have power button right here and here is your charge port. Charge this up, takes a little bit of while to charge, but supposedly you get up to 60 minutes of runtime. That is a ridiculously long runtime compared to most RC cars and RC vehicles. Keep in mind, most of the drones that we have on the channel have like a three to five minute runtime. So 60 minutes is super long indeed. Now, is this the smallest RC car we've ever had on the channel? No, that still goes to the turbo racing uh, car right here. This is also 176 scale, so I guess this is supposed to be like a monster truck compared to like this little Mini Cooper. Now, while this does have some nicer steering built into this very, very tiny model, it does not have an FPV system on board, and that's what really makes this thing very, very cool. You do notice that you have another button up here at the top, and that is to control your FPV system. This, of course, is your video antenna right here and the camera that you will see out of, so you'll get a nice close to the ground view. It has some sort of slightly uh, knobby tires on the outside, but slick in the middle, and this will really allow you to go on a smooth countertop or something like a tile. Uh, it's probably not going to be big enough to go on carpet, but that's totally fine. As you can see, it is very, very tiny, but just not quite as tiny as this. For comparison's sake, this is a WL Toys K989 car right here. And uh, <laughs> you can see this is already a very tiny car. You can see this even fits in the palm of my hand and look how much smaller this thing is than that. Take a look at the, the wheels next to these wheels. So very, very, very small. Uh, you can easily ride this around on a tabletop as it says, <laughs> very fun stuff. 
So what do you think in the comments, guys? If you want to be a good ambassador of FPV, it might be a good idea for all of us to own one of these. They cost well under a hundred bucks in this configuration, and there's also an option to add a pair of goggles, and that brings it just over a hundred bucks. I think the, the price for this on opening day is going to be about 75 to 80 bucks, which is not too bad, especially considering that you can charge it off a USB and have an almost infinite amount of runtime. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you going to get one of these to be able to hand over to friends and family to try it? Maybe you can get them hooked. Maybe you can spiral them down into that money pit hobby of FPV. Then you don't have somebody to fly with and perhaps share your woes when all of your things are broken and you can't actually fly. Thanks, guys.